Hi, my name is Dara. In this short video series I call OBS 101, I want to show you how to quickly get started using Open Broadcaster Studio to perform live streams and recordings. Let's get started. Open Broadcaster Studio OBS is that app you can use to do live streaming and recording. To use for live streaming, you can stream to YouTube, Facebook, Switch, or any custom stream server that you own. OBS is available across Windows, Mac, and Linux operating systems. You are able to use OBS also to record your screens, to capture games, to capture applications. You are also able to use OBS to capture display from other devices that are currently on your network using the NDI settings. As you can see on my screen, I am trying to make the display on my Mac show up and conform to my screen resolution so that I can capture whatever goes on on my Mac and use it in OBS. Of course, this looks advanced, but we will get there in this video series. I am able to perform this task using the feature called NDI that is a network device interface. You can see me doing the configurations and walking around OBS on my PC. Aside live streaming, you are also able to use OBS to record your lessons, to record your screens. Maybe you have a video cut that you want to show audiences at a later date. You are able to use OBS to perform that task. You are also able to do streaming and recording at the same time using OBS. Let us start and install OBS on a Windows machine. I will open my browser and I will type obsprojects.com. It will take me to the Open Broadcaster Studio website where I am able to download the setup for my machine. I will click on Windows and then my download will begin. This will take a couple of seconds, but to save our time, I will pause this recording and come back later. Download is now completed. I will go ahead and open the file. I will click on Run and then I will go ahead and start the setup using the wizard. I will follow the instructions on the wizard, but not to waste our time, I will pause this recording and come back at a later time. Installation is now done. I'll make sure the box is checked and I click on finish. It will then open up OBS for me to run for the very first time on my Windows device. I'll go ahead and click no for the auto configuration wizard because I know exactly what I want to do. Success! I have finally installed OBS running on my Windows device and I will show us what to do now on the Mac operating system. The process for the Mac is fairly similar. The only difference is the browser and my installation procedure. I will go ahead and open my browser on my Mac operating system and then I will click on Mac OS 10.12 Plus to start the download process. It will open up a new tab for me and then it will start the download process. Because I have this download on my Mac already, I will go ahead and cancel the current download but you should wait for yours to complete. I will go ahead and open my downloads on my browser and then I will open up the setup I currently have on my machine. It will go ahead to verify my setup file and then I will follow the installation procedure for the macro pen system by dragging the OBS image into my applications folder. I'll go ahead and do that. And then you can see the OBS file in my applications folder 
now I'm ready to get started using OBS on my Mac. I'll go ahead to verify all the prompts that come up to me according to the Mac operating system rules. Then I am ready to get started using OBS on my Mac operating system.